Hey y'all, hey, it is the tutorial you have been waiting for, the pink goes red t-shirt tutorial. So if you are wanting to turn this t-shirt, BT dub, just for a minute y'all. I wear a size small. This is not a small, look at this. Mm -hmm. Irritating, anywho. Um, if you are looking to turn this t-shirt or any t-shirt into a clutch, this is the tutorial for you. It's a no sew tutorial. It's super easy. Um, if you are wanting me to make your clutch or want to send me another t-shirt or make this, this clutch with this particular fabric, keep watching and I will give you instructions for that. If you are here for the tutorial, look in the description box so I can tell you the time mark to go to so you don't have to listen to all this because it doesn't apply to you. So, if you would like to send me your t-shirt, a t-shirt, fabric, or whatever to make a clutch, I am going to do that. But this is my disclaimer. Please keep in mind that I'm a DIYer. I am in no way a professional. Everything that I do, um, I've done it for myself. I've done it for others. These clutches, I've only carried it once. Hasn't fallen apart on me. But just remember, I'm a DIYer. This is not professional. So if you get home and you take your clutch and you out and about and it falls apart, don't come emailing me, calling me about my clutch fell apart. Listen, this is not professional. Um, this is DIY. I love making them. I don't mind making them. But I don't want you guys to be ordering from me and thinking that you're getting back something professional that a professional seamstress or you can get something from the store so saying that if you still want to move forward with me making your clutches just go to my website and that is www.glittergraceglowsticks.com and if you go to shop you will find the picture of the red clutch in this clutch and it'll give you directions on how to order but basically you're going to send me your cloth send me your um pin or embellishment that you want. If you don't have one, I can provide one for you. And then I'll make the clutch and send it back to you. Um, also, keep in mind that I don't know how many orders I'm gonna get. It's just one of me. I got three kids, husband, family stuff, sports, all that going on. And so, but a good thing is I'm at home all day by myself, yay. So I will try to get these out to you as soon as I get them and I will be doing them in the order that they are received, okay? So that is that. If you didn't get the website, it is in the description box. Just click on it and that's that. Also, if you are in the DFW, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and you wanna have a craft night to make these, we can get together because that will be so fun. Crafts and wine margaritas right up my alley so we do a girls night out um comment below if that's something that you want to do and i will get it together so without further ado the t-shirt uh tutorial all right so what you're gonna need for this tutorial is your t-shirt or a t-shirt or some fabric and these placemats everybody's been asking me what placemats i use these are called six Sick Home Placements, S-I-C, um, simple and comfortable. I got them off of Amazon. They are no longer available. I've looked, went through my orders. Um, but they're just vinyl placemats, dimensions 18 by 12. But I mean, you really just need some kind of vinyl placemat that's, that's bendable. Um, I've seen some on Amazon that say they're heat resistant if that's something you're interested in. I will put a link below to some on Amazon that I found. Um, and you can just choose one. That's what I'm going to do when I order when I order them for the, the clutch. I'm just going to choose some. doesn't matter the color or anything because it's going to be hidden. Let's see what you'll also need. You're going to need the infamous... Fabri-Tac that I love. This is by Beacon. You're going to need some clips, finder clips. Um, what else can you use? Clothespin, any kind of clips to kind of clamp the bag down when we fold it together. And you're going to need some scissors. You'll also need your embellishment if you have one. You don't have to put one on there. And that's all. And so we'll get started. I am going to 
move the camera around so you're not looking at my pretty face and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing with the t-shirt. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your material is ironed. We don't want a wrinkly clutch. Okay, so this, this t-shirt and I guess other t-shirts that have the logo or whatever you want up here to be on your clutch is kind of tricky because we want the pink goes red to be at the bottom. So we have to strategically place. Oh my goodness, y'all. I was recording this entire video and uh, it wasn't recording. WTF. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> Lord help me. I'm going to, let me finish this part real fast. I'm gonna start again, just act like the t-shirt is a whole. <laughs> So I can show y'all how I do this. Lord bless it. Oh, don't on iPhone. Okay, so let's start off and pretend like this t-shirt is whole. Just pretend. Okay, so what we're going to do for the pink goes red, as I was explaining on this part, we want the pink goes red at the bottom. So you are going to cut your t-shirt. Just pretend like this is a whole t-shirt. We're going to use this placemat. Act like the placemat is not uh, in there yet. So what I did was I took the placemat and I centered it on the pink goes red part, okay? That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that the pink goes red cannot be seen because this placemat, which is 18 by 12, is the perfect size for this pink goes red uh, writing. So what you do is you center it and we're going to push it all the way up to right to the tip top of that v-neck and after that v-neck I mean we're gonna cut like right below the v-neck so what you're gonna do is you'll grab your scissors and you're going to cut see me I pretend like I'm cutting cut and cut okay I'm gonna throw this away and because you cut the front and the back you're going to end up with two pieces and for the first piece you're going to so irritated right now. You're going to just cut it into the perfect size for your placemat and you're going to glue it on here. Once again, I have another video, a DIY clutch video, and I'll link it below that is 25 minutes and gives you like step by step by step. So you can go to refer to, you can refer to that one. I'm not gonna do that again when you can go look at that one. Y'all know I don't do double work. So then you'll glue that little piece on. So where I was, to make sure the camera is recording still okay we're still recording and then so from there from there I flipped my pink goes red and make sure it's at the bottom okay pretend like this is covered in red material so what I did was I rolled it up and I made sure, and I kind of tucked the ends around and made sure that you could see the entire pink goes red text. If you can't see it and you need to move your placement over a little bit and resize it again to make sure it'll fit, do that, okay? From there, from there, you want to place your placemat down as far as it goes and you're going to then start gluing the material around. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, y'all email me. Um, and so this is what you start off with. Remember, make, the, make sure the pink goes red fabric. When you lay it down, you want to lay it down with the pink goes red at the bottom. That's how you're going to get the pink goes red at the bottom, okay? And so now all we're going to do is glue your fabric down onto the placemat okay and make sure at the bottom you pull it you pull your placemat down as far as you can is and you just leave enough fabric that you can fold it over because we don't have any extra fabric at the top because our v-neck was right there okay so now i'm gonna
Now what I'm doing here is because this is t-shirt material and it's stretchy, I'm pulling it so I can pull it over and it'll be a little bit tight. So you definitely wanna do that before you glue it down. So we this side, we're gonna put the glue. Where's this? This time we're gonna put the glue down here and fold the t-shirt over. Make sure you pull it, you pull while you are gluing it down. So there's that. Let's make sure we turn it over and oop, pink goes red. Hey, now. Okay, so compared to this one that I made, your pink goes red clutch is going to be a little smaller just because of where the material was on the um how it was on the t-shirt so we have all this room to play with on the placemat notice i did not glue the top down just yet so if if you want to have your clutch like this keep in mind that you kind of want this to meet up here because you don't want your contents of your clutch to fall out so whatever size you make your clutch make sure it kind of meets the top of it so on this clutch we can pull it down the the lower you pull it down the lower you're going to have to pull this top up okay do y'all see that and it covers your pink goes red so if you want a smaller clutch which is like this size Let's roll that down a little bit more see if we just do it like that that's all the way covered up what you need to do is just cut across here and make your placemat your base of your clutch a little bit shorter so if I want my clutch to be that size y'all see how it's still covered up I don't even think you can do it that size if so if you wanted that size, what you would do is bloop, cut across here. And then the top of your clutch where it closes will be smaller and it'll look like that. And if you like that look, do that. You know, this is DIY. Do, do, you do you however you want to do it. I'm going to do this one like I did the one last time. And let's see well, how much I left. How much I left that much at the bottom. And so the top of our clutch is going to be shorter. We just have to figure out now how, just how short we want it to be. So in order to get it to be like that, where the tops are touching, it looks like I need to cut like this much off. And for my precise people, that is about, we'll say like an inch and three fourths. That's what I'm gonna say. An inch and three fourths. So that's where we're going to cut this across. And wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't want to do that. Hold on. You want to pull this because we still need this um, material up here. So you just want to cut the placemat in your lining. We don't want to cut that top material because we need to um, fold it over. Okay. So this is all you do. If you need to draw a line with your ruler because you can't freeze the outcut, do that. And let's pull this off of on this side. Okay, and there we go. Let's see, did I cut it even? Barely. So now, let's see what we got going on over here. We'll fold that up a little bit. Pull that down a little bit. And that's perfect. I'll see it's the perfect size okay we still need to do our last um, fold over so what I'm going to do is cut this fabric just down here you know I'm gonna cut it right here because we're gonna double fold it because we want the inside of our clutch to look a little put together you know what I'm saying look like like it's a seam there or something 
So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. I'll, I'll give y'all that measurement in a minute. We're gonna double fold this down. So from the top of the placemat to there is an inch and a half, okay? So if you wanna cut an inch and a half. So now, I'm gonna double fold this down one and then down twice. So it'll look like some kind of seam, seam going on, neat-ish. Okay, and all I do is just fold that, glue that back down, and glue this side back down. That's the side that I undid. And then we're going to glue it down halfway. So let's try to do a semi straight line. Okay. I'm going to take our fabric and glue. Can y'all see this? I hope y'all can see this. And just glue a somewhat of a straight line. This is going to get tucked. So it doesn't have to be super straight, okay? There's that. We're still recording. <laughs> and then we're gonna fold down again, you guys, and that's gonna give us that little seamish looks. Okay, on the corners, let's maybe try to get the corners straight because that will be showing. So make sure your corners line up with the edge of your your material and then I'm going to put glue right here make sure you really get the corners Ooh, it's time for me to get some new glue and right here okay we're going to start in the middle and we're just going to glue that down And pull it a little bit because we want it to be a little bit tight and then make sure your corner is lined up evenly with the edge of it and just glue it's okay if it puckers that's the inside we want the outside to look flawless okay so that's basically it you guys for the t-shirt see i have this coming up down here let's fix any anything that's sticking up so now what you have is your da -da -da -da, your fabric covered placemat so basically y'all all we did was cover our placemat there's the pink goes red see there's our t-shirt um i had somebody ask if they could just sew like a little if you're a sewer if they could sew a pocket like cut the t-shirt material and sew a pocket and slip the placemat in once it's done yes you can do that that's all professional stuff all right so let's figure out how high we want this to go we need to go a little bit higher because i we want our fold to to not cover up the pink goes red so for me on this clutch that's perfect okay so just like in the other video, we're gonna clamp one side down so we know how high we want it. Okay, and from here, all I'm gonna do is put glue here, glue this down, glue here, glue that down. Once again, I forgot to tell you guys about the Velcro for your closure. Once it, I have this Velcro just laying around in my craft room, um, you can get the little round, little cutesy little Velcro things. You can get the magnetic snap closures, whatever your heart desires.
Um, so this is our clutch. That's how roomy it is. Um, you definitely want to take your finger down here and make sure there aren't any holes. So like right here, I would put a, a little bit more dab of glue. You basically want no holes. This side is, oh, there's all, see how I can put my finger in there? We don't want that. So I will go through and do that. It, now, if you want your embellishment, um, I either got this at Hobby Lobby Joann's or Michael's. I don't know. I actually had it laying around in my craft room for some reason. I don't remember why I bought it. Um, but I kind of sewed that on and I need to reinforce it because it turns a little. But I think it's easier to find like a brooch and to, because that's what I did, or a pin and break the safety pin on it and the little prongs that hold up. The safety pin part I just took some pliers and bent it off and, they, and it popped off so then you just glue that with Fabri-Tac also has I mean Beacon also has another one for um, jewelry and stuff I'll put that link so you know it's um, I think it's jewel tag jewel I don't know anyway I'll put that down in the description box so y'all can do that I use that and just glue that on and then I put that big old bowl on here to hold it down for a couple minutes to make sure it was on and that's it. But I think it's easier to find something that you can glue versus sew because this this is actually like a button. It has a hole in it so I nor my husband could break that off because it was so um, strong. But I like the, the pearls. And so you would just adhere that right here in the center wherever you want if you're going to sew um you probably have to do it a little higher than your velcro but that's it that's the pink goes red clutch simple simple so if you want to um you can do this with any t-shirt any fabric you guys you be walking around you'll be walking around with one of a kind clutches and you're like uh-huh this used to be a t-shirt i repurposed it i upcycled it so that is that i hope to see a ton of pictures on the gram and facebook and social media with you guys in your new clutches, don't forget to tag me. Um, my name is Brittany Fitton across all social media platforms. All right, I hope this helps some of you guys and have a great day.